I'd like to respectfully acknowledge that the land which we gather is the traditional unceded and uncharted territory of the Wolf Sequoia people. And good morning, OHS. So, Mr. Sanford and Ms. Foster are looking for any potential grads to come see either of them during DSV on Friday or Tuesday of next week to give them your t-shirt size. This will impact each student receiving their correct t-shirt size at SafeGrad. The deadline to give them the information is next Wednesday, which is May the 15th. The OHS musical Cinderella is next week. Tickets are available at the main office for the evening performances Thursday, May 16th, Friday, May 17th, and Saturday, May 18th at 7 p.m. Also, students have the opportunity to see a school show on Friday, May 17th during period 5. Tickets for the school show will be sold in the cafeteria lobby during lunch hour on Tuesday and Wednesday next week for $5. Uh, hey grads, we're just here in the guidance department. As we all know, uh, graduation is fast approaching, which means that scholarship season is in full swing now. So we just want to remind you guys the process of applying to a scholarship and what happens when you get one granted. Um, so there's plenty of portfolios here in guidance, and they all have the due dates uh, right on them. So you can skim through those, uh, read the criteria. If you qualify, absolutely apply. Um, so yeah, those are all part of the portfolio. As well, there's a few scholarships posted on the wall. Um, this one, for example, is applicable to anyone who's been admitted into MBCC, um, no matter what program, as well anyone who is going to be attending either UMB or St. Thomas. Another reminder that this whiteboard is always outside the guidance uh, office, and Ms. Kukowski makes sure that she keeps us updated um, of all the scholarships that are due this month um, in particular. So yeah, just keep updated, come in here as much as possible. Um, there's always new scholarships coming in and out of the guidance department, so just don't forget about that. And over here we have the drop-off box for scholarships. So when you award a scholarship, make sure you come down to guidance and you fill out a piece of paper with your name, the amount you want, and make sure you credit the person or the foundation who awards you your scholarship. And just to clarify, this box is only for awarded scholarships. It is not for applications. And it's just so that at graduation, guidance can showcase your winnings and your awards and it can be listed on the board. And over here, as you can see, we have $300,000 in climbing and scholarships, which is amazing. So congratulations to all the winners so far and keep them coming. Grade 8 tours will be happening at the end of this month, and we are looking for tour leaders. If you are interested in taking a group around the school, please send the volunteer sheet outside Ms. Pryor's office in guidance by the end of the day on Friday. So being grad class president uh, is a lot of responsibility, but uh, it teaches you a lot and it shapes you as a person for sure. Uh, for me personally, it taught me a lot about time management and organization, and at times it was definitely challenging, but it was definitely worth it when I got to see everybody come together at all the grad events throughout the year. One thing I loved about being on grad class was that I got to experience a lot of different opportunities, doing different activities, and I just feel like I got closer with all my fellow grads. One thing I really liked about being on grad class is I got to become closer with a lot of my fellow grads, and I had a really fun time planning activities for us. So. Grad class was a great leadership opportunity and it really sharpened my skills for things that are coming later in life. So being in grad class was super fun because we got to come up with all the events throughout the year and it was really awesome to see them all get executed and everyone come together as a grad class and have fun. So a reminder for all grads, the grad banquet is on Thursday, May 30th in the OHS cafeteria. Tickets will be available for purchase on School Cash online and in Ms. Bacon's room, so it's room 129, beginning on Wednesday, May 1st. Tickets are continually available on School Cash Online and in Miss Bacon's room only every Wednesday during DSB. The last possible day to purchase tickets is on Tuesday, May 22nd. Tickets are $15 each. For anyone interested in becoming grad class valid Victorian, there are applications available outside of the office and the deadline for the applications is Friday of next week at 3.30 p.m.
And do you want to be just like me and Daniel, Hannah and Kane, next year? Because you have the chance to become part of the SRC Executive Council. We are looking for as many people to run as possible, as many candidates as we can. It makes it a really good election, and this is what we want. Um, it's not too late to get involved if you haven't already picked up your application. They are available outside of the office, and we want to see as many people as we can. There will be a meeting for all candidates today at lunchtime in Ms. Mamraquette's room. So if you are running, um, if you've already filled out your application, or if you haven't gotten around to it yet, but you can do it this morning, um, then m make sure you're there at Ms. Mamraquette's at lunch uh, with an application in hand or submitted and ready to take on some information because election week is coming up next week and uh, we need to make sure everyone's on the same topic. Yeah, so if you're passionate about the school and you want to get involved and you want to see the school be a great place, make sure you do that. It's an awesome thing to be a part of. For sure. And that's all I have for announcements today. See you guys.